And joining us now is Leon Panetta, former defense secretary, CIA director, of course, former White House chief of staff. Leon, you've done it all, but uh, today was a pretty strong day following up on a dramatic day yesterday. Uh, what would you say about the Biden White House in pulling this off so far? Well, there's, there's no question that uh, the president uh, has been on a historic trip uh, at a very historic time. And the trip is, uh, in my mind, a total affirmation of uh, United States' world leadership at a very critical time uh, for, for the president to uh, go to Ukraine, uh, to take a very risky trip, uh, and then to uh, stand up not only saying that uh, Kyiv is still standing, uh, but also in Poland that this is about freedom and about democracy. Uh, I think he really has made very clear what a pivotal time this is. This is not just about the war in Ukraine. It's about whether or not democracy is going to survive in the 21st century. And uh, I, think, uh, I think his ability to make that clear and to create this bond between our allies and Ukraine uh, is extremely important in defining democracy versus autocracy. How worrying is Putin's announcement, a sharp contrast, of course, to the president's speech here, that Russia is getting out of the New START treaty? Is this only symbolic, given that they had already blocked inspections, so it couldn't be verified any longer? It's, uh, it's certainly not a surprise. Uh, they were essentially moving in that direction, uh, and it's pretty clear that they've now taken this last step which only confirms, in my mind, that uh, we are we're living at a very dangerous time uh, in which uh, not only are we trying to defend uh, democracy, um, but uh, we're dealing with uh, the threat from Putin, who continues to uh, talk about the potential of using a nuclear weapon. Uh, and uh, in addition, well, we're looking at the possibility that China might provide uh, aid to Russia, uh, which, which essentially means that the United States is going to be confronting uh, really uh, an axis of evil uh, between uh, China, Russia, and uh, other autocracies like uh, North, uh, North Korea and Iran. Uh, this is a, a, a very definitive moment in which uh, the United States uh, and the rest of the world has to confront the threat from uh, tyrants around the world as well. How much of a how much of a game changer could it be if China does weigh in and ignore Tony Blinken's very strong warnings on a Saturday night meeting when we were all in Munich, and go ahead and arm cross that line and arm uh, Russia for this war? Well, I, I was very pleased with uh, uh, Secretary Blinken's. Uh, uh, warning to uh, China. I think it was a very strong warning uh, about uh, the serious consequences of doing that. Uh, I find it difficult to believe that she really wants to get into the middle of this. Um, you know, China has usually been concerned about China first, uh, and for them to uh, uh, to engage uh, in providing arms and getting in the middle of this uh, war uh, between NATO. Uh, and the United States and uh, Ukraine against uh, Russia uh, only will weaken China. It'll only weaken China. So I, I would think that uh, despite despite the threats and the tough talk, uh, she has got to be thinking long and hard about the consequences that China will face if they, in fact, engage in providing uh, weapons to Russia. Uh, it is. Uh, it would be a pivotal step for China as well to, to suddenly get in the middle of this. Uh, Wang Yi, the top diplomat, is in Moscow today. And there's a report in The Wall Street Journal, which we have not confirmed, that President Xi is going to make a visit, a trip to Moscow. So it just depends on whether the trip is accompanied by weapons. That would be the game changer. Let me ask you about President Zelensky's appeal for fighter jets, arguing the F-16s, of course, the White House is arguing that the F-16s are too complicated, it takes too much pilot training, certainly would not be in place for this current offensive by Russia. 
which is misnamed the spring offensive. It's already underway. But do you think that those fighter jets should be supplied, or uh, as Zelensky's arguing, or is the administration correct? Uh, I, I think we're at a stage where, uh, frankly, everything should be on the table uh, and uh, and being considered. I mean, I, I recognize the issue of training, the issue of maintenance, uh, et cetera, uh, and all of that has to be taken into consideration. But uh, you know, we're we're in it for the long haul, and at this moment in time. It is very important that Ukraine maintain the initiative in this war. Russia's losing. Russia's losing. Even though they're trying to put on an offensive, uh, they're not gaining ground. And it's clear that uh, Ukraine has the momentum. Uh, we've got to maintain that momentum. We've got to give them whatever they need in order to continue to win this war. And so I would uh, I'd put everything on the table. Uh, I would look at uh, at what are the most important weapons they need at this point in time, and and make sure that we're providing those weapons. Um, but I would uh, I, I would consider everything that could help Ukraine be able to defend itself. And uh, for that reason, uh, and I I get this frankly from uh, from the administration itself that uh, you know even though they may raise concerns. Uh, that the reality is that they are considering whatever may be necessary to try to help Ukraine in this war. How important is it, do you think, that Zelensky not push too hard in, into Crimea? Would that be a trigger against something horrendous from Vladimir Putin? I, I think right now the most important thing is for uh, Ukraine to be able to uh, stop any Russian offensive. Uh, and uh, go on the initiative, uh, be able to start pushing Russia back uh, in the Donbas uh, and push them out of the territories they gained uh, as a result of this invasion. I think that ought to be the primary focus. Uh, obviously, they continue to, uh, to believe that Crimea is part of the Ukraine, and it is, uh, and uh, Russia obtained it illegally. Uh, but uh, I think right now the main focus ought to be on pushing the Russians back, gaining the initiative, uh, and making clear that Russia is not going to succeed. Uh, the, the most important thing to maintaining the unity of the United States and NATO and Ukraine uh, is Ukraine showing that it's winning this war. That, that is what will hold everybody together uh, in trying to make clear that uh, Putin will not succeed. And uh, that that needs to be the focus of our military effort there. Leon Panetta, as always, thank you, Mr. Secretary.